Field in tight formation as they head through three. Charlie Welch takes the pace car off. Steve Knight gonna lead the field off of four. Looking for the green. Good looking start. The Grand National Sportsman presented by Nashville Palace are on their way. Oh. Mark Stegall had a run on Steve Knight for a second there. Knight dropped down. Protects that inside line as they come down to complete lap number one. Every car in the field still pretty much in the way that they started. Steve Knight the leader. Mark Stegall second. Dick Stegall third. Side by side for fourth with Lee Goddard on the inside. Clint Ivey on the outside. Howard Tucker trailing by just three car lengths behind them. Two laps complete of the scheduled eight in this first of two heat races for the Nashville Palace Grand National Sportsman. The good battle for fourth continues into three. Clint Ivey with just the nose out in front of the double zero of Lee Goddard. Goddard. Former Tennessee Outlaws champion here at the Fairgrounds Music City Motorplex. Running pretty much that same car, the same setup on the quarter mile. Those were fun to watch. Steve Knight looking as strong as he has all year long. Leading Mark Stegall and Father Dick Stegall. And the battle for fourth continues. Ivy may finally have a chance to get down in front of Goddard. He cannot. Goddard still has the nose underneath him as they come off a of four. Working lap number five. Knight still the leader. Still side by side for the fourth spot. Clint Ivey just managing to hold off Lee Goddard. Should see the white flag this time by Steve Knight. That gorgeous Richard Petty lookalike number 43. Knight moved up into second place in the points just in the last week. Got four top five finishes, a couple of heat race wins. He's going to take number three tonight. Steve Knight is your winner in the first heat race for the Nashville Palace Grand National Sportsman. Down Mark to you, my friend. All right, the driver of the beautiful Farrells, uh, Vic Line Weaver, juvenile court number 43. Richard Petty, man, would be so proud of you. Steve Knight, congratulations. I know you guys have worked your fannies off also on your car your crew has. And, man, that sucker was a racehorse. Yeah, like we was, it was a bullet tonight. And uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that helps me. Uh, my dad, Bobby Rippey, Terry Jeanette, Robert Forsyth, Terry Forsyth, my spotter. Uh, man, it was a good night. And uh, let's thank Dwayne Farrell, Vic Line Weaver, and... Uh, Got a good guy, like like say hi to him every week, Monty. I think I see him up there hot waving to me now. And uh, we'll uh, try to do him in feature race. Well, man, it's going to be a good right. one. We'll Larry Deal leading the field off of four. Looking for the green. He's got it. He's also got a snarling pack of hungry race cars behind him. That blue 77 of Leahue has been blindingly fast in practice. Look at Hadley, Steve Hadley and the interstate batteries look alike out in front. Gets a little shove from Larry Deal as he goes by. Troy Hall on the outside, moving himself up into second. Deal back to third, Leahue runs in fourth. Pinnell is fifth. 
Terry Jeanette making a big move from the back of the pack. He's on the outside of Pinnell challenging for the top five. Steve Hadley with two laps complete has Troy Hall right on his rear bumper. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh all in a bunch right behind him. Hadley just about brushes the turn two wall, may have actually made contact with it. Troy Hall right there on his bumper now. Pinnell in the sixth. Side by side with the 62 of Terry Jeanette. That's for fifth. Everybody stacking up behind Larry Deal. Here comes the battle for the lead. Troy Hall with the nose underneath the 57. Hall will take the lead as they take cross flags. Puts the nose out in front just enough to lead the lap. And as they head off a of turn two, Hall should pull out in front of Steve Hadley. Lehu continues to run third. Deal is back to fourth. Pinnell is fifth. Getting a challenge on the outside from the 62 of Jeanette. The 62 of Jeanette, the only car in the field with a feature race win so far in 2006. Good run for Brenda Turner as she moves herself up into six past Larry Deal. Excellent battle for the top three positions. Troy Hall still your leader. Steve Hadley second, Brian Lehew third. Can't say enough about Lehu. Just his second start here. And he's challenging for second now with the nose underneath Steve Hadley. He's got the spot as they come off a of two. But the white flag is out. Troy Hall looks like he is on his way to another checkered flag. His first heat race win of the year. Troy Hall, your winner. Brian Lehu second. Steve Hadley third. Thomas Pinnell fourth. Terry Jeanette rounds out the top five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second Nashville Palace Grand National Sportsman, Troy Hall. He had the number 86 man. You, good to see you back in victory lane down here. It's good to be back. It's, uh, it's been too long. Man, how's your car feel? It feels pretty good. We got to work on it some. It's still a little too free getting up off a corner. But we can get a little tighter we'll be all right man congratulations to you it's always good to see you back down here ladies and gentlemen in the 25 that is the 28 renumbered Leroy Binkley the number two John Leland not gonna make the start unfortunately the 81 Winston Patton 77 Brian Leahy green flag is out and we are underway the heavy metal thunder rolls through the south end of the track. Fifteen cars in what is pretty much a starting grid still side by side at least three rows back. Finally, we're going to have one slip up a little bit. Steve Hadley in the 57. Slips up, lets Mark Stegall underneath him. Steve Knight goes by on the outside to take the lead from 86 of Troy Hall. Steve Metal gets the swap. Terry Jeanette and Clint Ivey touch each other as they head down the front straightaway. Dick Stegall now to the inside of Steve Hadley to take over fourth, or trying to. More great camera work. Dollar General Mattioli vision. Thomas Pinnell looking really good in that number six. We're betting on him as a feature race winner before this season is over with. Four laps complete. Steve Knight, still your leader.
Troy Hall second. Mark Stegall third. Dick Stegall fourth. Those are your two points leaders. Mark Stegall, then Father Dick running one and two in points. Or had been throughout most of the year. Steve Knight finally making some ground on him. Up to second in points, a win tonight would sure help. Working lap six. And tough break for John Leland. He's gotten into the number three car. That's a car formerly driven out here by Wayland Jenkins. Hastily renumbered number two. Try and get John out and get some points. No luck so far for Leland. Don't believe that car has run at all this year. Steve Knight with the adjustment in the carburetor rules seems to be really happy. Car in the wall, the 07 of Barry Hadley gets it back under control. New carburetor rules that were put in place, helping to equalize things a little bit between the boat motors and the crate motors. Gary Hadley in the pits in the zero seven. Having to have some sheet metal pulled away on the right side of that car after he whacked the wall. Ten laps in, 15 to go. Steve Knight still your leader. Troy Hall second, Mark Stegall third, Dick Stegall fourth. Steve Adley is fifth, Thomas Pinnell is sixth. Clint Ivey seventh, Perry Jeanette eighth. Lee Goddard is ninth, Howard Tucker tenth. Brian Leahy is eleventh. Brenda Turner is twelfth. Leroy Pinkley, 13th. 14th, several laps down. Barry Hadley. 15th, and not running, the number two of John Leland. Apologies to Winston Pat, left him out of the running order. Gary Davis, got two flags in hand. He's gonna cross them and show them to Steve Knight. The man you speak to when you call all night bonding, Steve Knight out in front. Should he hold on, it would be his first win of the year. Anxious moments as they go around the lap car of Winston Pat in the 81. Things really tight behind the Stegalls. Less than 10 laps to go. Steve Knight still out in front. Got about eight car lengths over Troy Hall. Those two pulling away from the rest of the field. Mark Stegall, Dick Stegall. Steve Hadley, they round out the top five. Behind them, Thomas Pinnell, Clint Ivey, Terry Jeanette, Lee Goddard, and Howard Tucker make up the top 10.
Troy Hall well back in the points, 18. Only four appearances this year. This will be his fifth race. Definitely going to make some ground up. And he's trying to make ground up on Steve Knight as they head down the back straightaway. The margin is about seven car lengths. Working lap 19, approaching the lap car of Barry Hadley, the 07 machine. Davis going to show him an open hand next time by five laps to go. Once again, the full field as we have them. Steve Knight, your leader. Troy Hall, second. Third to Mark Stegall. Fourth, Dick Stegall. Fifth to Steve Hadley. Sixth, the number six of uh, Thomas Pennell. Seventh, Glenn Ivey. Eighth, Lee Goddard. Ninth, Terry Jeanette. Tenth, Brian Lahue in the 77. Eleventh, Howard Tucker. Twelfth, the 24, Brenda Turner. 13th, Winston Patton, 14th, Leroy Bingley, 15th, and several laps down the 07 of Barry Hadley. That full field rundown brought to you courtesy of 6.50 a.m. WSM, Nashville's country legend. Home of race night every Sunday night. Broadcasting from right here at the New York City Motorplex with the Alpha West. Steve Knight, the all-night bonding feral automotive machine. He's going to be looking for the white flag this time by. Good-looking Chevy Monte Carlo gets it as they come by. Troy Hall still just about five to seven car lengths back. He's waited seven races for this and has worked awful hard. Second place in points. He's going to make up a lot of ground tonight. Steve Knight takes home win number one of 2006 in the Nashville Palace Grand National Sportsman Division. Troy Hall finishes a fine second. Mark Stegall, the points leader, third. Dick Stegall, fourth. And Steve Hadley, another great consistent run to fifth. And a little uh, set up there. And boy, did y'all uh, set sail in another county, Steve. Man, congratulations. I know yesterday you was pretty excited, but uh, I can tell by the look on your face, buddy, you, you, you figured it out. Man, it, we've had a lot of help. It's more than one person goes in these cars. Um, yeah, I, I, it's the first time I've been in Victory Lane on this side. I really didn't know where to go. So, But, uh, man, it's been a long time. i uh, got a lot of people I think, Robert, Terry, uh, Bobby Rippey, my dad, my mom, my family. Uh, Derek Johnson came out to help tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Dwayne Farrell, Vic Lineweaver, uh, Mark Fishburn, All Night Bonding. And uh, everybody comes out here, Monty, he calls the Highland Rim, he's here every week. So that's what this track needs. And uh, prayers go out to uh, the Formosa, I heard him say earlier tonight, his uh, grandfather was sick. And uh, thank goodies for being a sponsor out here, man. We need more of it. Man, I tell you what, also we had, uh our great fellas here tonight from T-Mobile. I am a T-Mobile customer myself. I love it. Great service. They're here with us tonight up there in the booth. And I'll tell you what, uh, anytime you need to dial up Steve to get you out of jail, use T-Mobile. What do you think about that, Steve? Sounds good. I need to talk to these people. All right, guys. Give another round of applause to my good buddy tonight, Steve oh, Knight. Guys. Gets it as they come by. Troy Hall still just about five to seven car lengths back. He's waited seven races for this and has worked awful hard. Second place in points. He's going to make up a lot of ground tonight. Steve Knight takes home win number one of 2006 in the Nashville Palace.